Deesh uh, Gupta and uh, today I'll present my data visualization improvements on a data set for Internet of Things presented in a, lar in a, in a paper called a Large Scale Urban IoT Activity Data for DDoS Attack Emulation. This uh, paper was published last year in the, at the Data 2021 conference. Um, before we get uh, into the data set and the visualization, let's take a brief overview of what IoT is. Um, IoT, as it stands for uh, Internet of Things, is a network of physical objects consist consisting of sensors, also called as nodes, that connect to other objects over a network, um, public or shared or local, in order to exchange, um, collect and monitor data. Um, the networking part of IoT makes the sensor prone to uh, denial of service attacks, also call, called as DDoS attacks, which could result in um, the failure of entire system. The paper that I selected um, presents a data set for communication data, uh, sensor communication data from over thousands of uh, sensors. Um, this is how the the columns and, and rows and the data set looks like um, consists of um, six different fields um, the first one is node ID um, second one and the third one is consists of um, node, node location in terms of latitude and longitude um, then followed by time of activity um, um, and then that followed by the activity and attack flag the activity flag is um, uh, represents uh, the uh, the whether the node is active or not. The attack flag uh, represents whether the the node is an attacker or not. So the attack flag is used to synthetically add attack data, which is then used to build a simple neural network uh, classifier to detect attack. So uh, let's uh, dive into the visualization. The first plot um, in this paper looks like this. Uh, this is off-putting in uh, many ways, such as the time axis is missing uh, the the unit. Um, for instance, in this case, it represents hour, um, but it, it doesn't explicitly tell us uh, um, the time is in 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 hours. Um, the title and the Y label don't match either. Um, as as you can see, the title says node uh, active nodes percentage versus time, whereas the Y axis says activity percentage. Um, uh, so they, they need to be fixed. Um, the the X ticks are very sparse, making it difficult to to follow without um, grid lines. There is also a very high variance along Y axis, which can be I feel is can be represented in a better way. Um, overall, the plot is limited and less informative considering um, how much data it is using to, to show us. Um, so um, how I modified um, this plot to make it better is um, first I um, fixed the axis labels. Then uh, the plot now uh, also shows a clear variance of the data along Y axis in the first plot as you can see the the blue um, the light blue color shows like the variance of data along along different uh, r, r of the day uh, the y ticks uh, now show the percentage instead of the ratio as as uh, was shown in the original figure so that is fixed um, sh uh, we are also showing the minimum and maximum value throughout the distribution uh, which can be helpful in better analyzing the the data set the right side uh, figure shows a R-wise uh, bar plot for discrete analysis of, of the first, which is continuous data. Each bar in the second plot um, shows like variance, uh, also shows a variance. If you can notice, there is a small tick on top of each of those bars, shows the variance of, of, uh, of each uh, uh, node activity uh, at each R. Um, now let's move on to the second figure. Um, this figure again faces the same problems as in figure one. Um, although I usually prefer um, a shared y axis uh, across all the subplots uh, for better comparison, for better direct comparison. However, in this particular plot, the fourth plot suffers um, highly due to uh, fewer data points and and as you can see the bars are not very distinct than each other. Um, this is further um, creating problems uh, because the bar the bars are all merged uh, to each other and um, that's that's confusing the plot has uh, also has too much of white space uh, making giving it a feel of incompleteness 
um, so how I improve uh, this plot is uh, I have first first of all I added a grid layout for better referencing across across both axes and using visually aesthetic colors it also um, shows a uh, overlaid continuous distribution over each plot um, further the y-axis um, is scaled according to the data so the last plot can be analyzed better um, um, finally here um, we use more descriptive titles as opposed to the original visualization um, I also selected one another uh, figure from the uh, paper um, this figure uh, the first one shows a table of accuracy after training a neural network um, and um, um, so they train the neural network on a train and test data set and test it on a test data set um, and f to me it's not intuitively um, shown like over over the tr over the training period how uh, how the accuracies and rec for instance the other metric recall um, evolve so the 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 figure um, on the on the right side is all uh, is showing uh, true positive and false positive rates in a very unintuitive way um, it's very hard to decode this 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 chart I have never seen any any paper showing uh, um, neural network training metrics result like this so um, I picked up the the data and trained the neural network again dumping up some um, uh, log files um, for more metrics and uh, these are the plots that I got after that uh, this plot is much more informative than just showing the final accuracies and false positive and true positive rates instead here we can see the accuracy loss precision and recall um, over the training epochs the plots are uh, much cleaner and directly convey the results of the training um, all of the plots that I um, just discussed are colorblind uh, friendly and grayscale friendly for an informative and distinct, distinct visualization this is the second plot in grayscale uh, that's that's the third plot finally here is a quick self-explanatory uh, visualization for precision recall from wikipedia thank you